Good morning, good morning, good morning. Eddie and Teresa and myself are in the kitchen early today. And we're getting some dishes done, aren't we? So, you know, quite often, y'all, I do dishes that they're requests for. So, apparently, there was a... Uh, Eddie, don't trip over your shoestrings. You're about to trip yourself up. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> um, so I have I have uh, done a hash brown casserole so many times, but apparently the team that um, listens to what y'all have to say, there's been more requests for uh, hash brown casserole. So I'm doing it again. And this one has uh, one cup of sauteed onions. I'm sauteing that in a half a uh, stick of butter. And of course, you know how easy that hash brown casserole is. Let's see. Oh no, I, okay. I can't half see y'all. All right, so over here, over here we are gonna mix our thawed hash browns and I wouldn't make them from scratch but you know if you want to do that feel free but I'm just as happy with the frozen hash browns and I do like the the grated versus the cubed hash browns all right we've got one 30 ounce package of frozen hash browns. Now, it doesn't say, the recipe doesn't say to do this, but, you know, when things are frozen, water. <laughs> Look where I shot, shot it, Eddie. <laughs> I shot it all over me, y'all. <laughs> so I'm just gonna squeeze out some of this water that got in it while it was in its frozen state. Okay, so that should be good enough. But I really would recommend squeezing, squeezing some of that water out of it. All right, let me look at our onions. I don't want to overcook those, so I'm going to bring them on over because I want you to be able to taste those onions. I don't want it to be so cooked that you can't tell what it is. So in potatoes, uh, I've got a cup of shredded cheese. I guess that goes in it, not on top of it. Is that right, Teresa? gets mixed in together. Okay, good, because that's what I did. Oh, yeah, the only thing that goes on top <laughs> is the, um, the bread crumb, the, the potato, potato chips. chips. Yeah, so that makes this one a little different. All right, I'm going to use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I'm going to use this whole container of sour cream. But first, before I do that, I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit. Get that all mixed in good. Oh, those onions just <laughs> did a great trick on those potatoes. So I know there's many uh, little twists and turns on the hash brown casserole. So, I'd love to hear the way y'all fix them. So send me a send me a note and show me, tell me what y'all do. All right, I'm gonna add one can of cream of celery soup. I think I'm gonna need my little rubber scoop of pooper to get all of that soup out. And 
and then I'll give that a quick little stir. Okay, now I'm gonna add two cup <laughs> two cups of sour cream. You know, um, potatoes just scream for sour cream. They scream for it. Okay, we're just gonna mix this up real good. And you saw me spray my casserole dish and I'm gonna spread this in a 13 by nine by two. And I'm gonna bake this in a 350 degree preheated oven. This is gonna be so good. And what I like about uh, this hash brown casserole, you know it's wonderful for breakfast. You know, if you don't wanna cook grits, you can make this uh, hash brown casserole the night before and stick it in the refrigerator and then put it in the oven while you're cooking your eggs and your bacon. All right, I'm having to dig deep down in there because I want this mixed up real good. Um, it's hard to beat good old grits for breakfast. But sometimes I do like a potato for breakfast. But they're wonderful to serve to company along with your barbecue chicken or your steak or even your burgers. So this is one of one of those recipes that are good for all three meals. Okay, I think I got that mixed up good enough now. Now what makes this one a little different from some I've made, we're gonna do tater on tater. <laughs> and you can't argue with that, tater on tater. I'm gonna put crushed potato chips on top of our hash brown casserole. Can't get too much of a good thing. So there we go. See that 13 by 9 by 2 is a perfect fit for our hash browns. And a dish like this, you can, you've got so much wiggle room, you know, to really do it any way you like it. So many different vegetables you can put in it, like bell pepper, uh, onions, just, you know, anything you want to. All right. So Teresa beat up these potato chips for us. So I'm gonna pour these. Oh gosh, they were. It, it was it was open. I was gonna say they were unlocked. I'm, I'm glad I didn't snatch them up. You know, <laughs> I didn't know it was unlocked. Have y'all ever had potato chip cookies? Those are incredibly. Delicious. We, we made them at oh Christmas, God. didn't we? I know it. Christmas we like to eat ourselves silly, didn't we? We sure did. <laughs> so, that's on our YouTube. It is. Oh, yeah, that was one oh, of our good. cookies, our 12 days of cookies. Oh, that's right. 12 days of Christmas, wasn't it? Or was it 12 days of cookies? No, 12 days of Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies. Well, I know we ate them like 
like we were never gonna get another cookie as long as we lived. Huh? I said we acted that way. Yes, we did. They are wonderful. So, if you've never had a potato chip cookie, <laughs> on YouTube search for uh, Paula Dean's potato chip cookie. Ever more good. So I'm putting this in the oven 350 for about 40 or 45 minutes, I'm sure. Uh, yep, 45 minutes. Our hash brown casserole is ready, y'all. And look. Look at those potato chips. It smells so good. Doesn't it smell delicious? Oh my. Mama, 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 ma. <laughs> Let's see. I think we need to taste it, don't you, Eddie? So, like I said, there are so many recipes out there for hash brown casserole. So, just just try them all, look at that. See how beautiful that set up? It set up almost like there were eggs in it. And this thing will take the skin off the roof of your mouth. Yeah, I can hear it <laughs> sizzling, so. Uh-huh, you would, can? Yes. <laughs> uh-huh, it's still sizzling, where's your? I just love the idea of the potato chips on top of. <laughs> it's still crunchy. Mm. So, just try them all, y'all, and pick out your favorite flavor. They're all good. I mean, whoever had a bad potato? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Loving best dishes, y'all.